I almost feel bad for the people on the train on the way to work on Monday mornings because, you know, everyone hates Monday mornings, but I don't mind them at all. It's just, it's, it's not a bad gig. <laughs> so we have two roles. Don't be a jerk. And do what's best for the company. Be kind, courteous, and respectful, even if you disagree. Always act in the best interest of the company. I tell my friends, we only have two roles at the company. Everybody's like, what? That, that will never work. No company can ever survive off of two roles. People are going to take advantage of those roles. And you know what I tell them is, yeah, some people will, but we're not going to operate for those people. You know, they're the outliers. And the core Pluralsight employee isn't someone who's going to break those rules because they want to do what's right for the company. They want to respect their coworkers. The culture here is so different. I've asked people, you know, what's the culture like where you work? And it's, they treat us well. We get to wear shorts. And in my mind, I'm like, that's cool. Um, culture is so much more than that. It's the values that are behind everything you do. When most people think of culture, they think about, you know, sort of the surface stuff. The, the food that you eat or the, the decor on the walls. They tend to focus on the things that don't matter. If you asked anybody in this building, nobody's here because of that. Everything at Floral Site boils down to the people and the way that we interact with each other. It's the people. It's all about the people. It's the relationships that we're building with one another. I think of Peach and Aaron and... Peter. Austin, uh, Hawk, also known as Chris. Hipsters. Nicole. Tanya. Vegans. You name a Jeff, there's lots of Jeffs. You got your Jeffs with a G, your Jeffs with a J. You got your J who just literally spells his name with a J. People value what you have to say regardless of your title here. It's a culture where people trust the things that you're doing. We leave our egos at the door and we come here to build something great. So our three core values, we're truth seekers, entrepreneurs, and we are eternal optimists. For me, truth seeking is just asking yourself or others the hard questions and uh, not being afraid of, of what the answer is, is gonna be. So it doesn't mean that everything's always going to go well, but it does mean that you're always going to be able to come out the other end with a good solution. A good example is you may be working on something and you may have a certain way that you're doing it. And yeah, you know, the, it's getting done, but there may be a better way. And that's the truth. There might be a better way of doing something more efficient, more productive, more powerful. I think the world thinks of entrepreneurship as our founder, but it's more than that. It means being able to take risks, being innovative and inventive. That you're not here for a paycheck. You're not here to just clock in and clock out. You're here to help build the company. To be an eternal optimist means that you are always looking towards the future. So being an optimist is just being able to find the good in any situation. You can't prevent bad things from happening, but your outlook and your perspective on them can be positive. I think that optimistic attitude that we have around here translates over to our customers. You know, they think of Pluralsight as a fun, happy company and they want to be part of it. I think one of the key benefits of having a culture like this that really trusts the individual is it attracts the very best from the entire industry. And that's the main thing, is we're not done developing this culture because the culture comes from the people. And as we empower our people to kind of take ownership of this culture with that entrepreneurial attitude, it's going to continue to evolve beyond where we expected it to go, which is really exciting.